Prettify Your Life and today I am going to show you how to emboss your own ribbon. It's, it, it's very easy. So let's start out with the supplies. First of all you need some stamps. Whatever stamp you're going to use. I use the Barbie stamp in my doorscape and that's what I'm going to use for this tutorial. You need an acrylic block. You can find that at craft stores or stamping stores or online stampingup.com you need two types of ribbon a smaller ribbon and then a larger ribbon I get this often I get several of these 30 foot wired rolls of white from Hobby Lobby I do a lot of different things with those they're very it, this is very versatile you can do all kinds of projects then you need some pigment ink I got this at Hobby Lobby. Some embossing powder. This is seafoam white. I also got at Hobby Lobby a long time ago. This stuff, you don't think there's a lot in there, but it lasts forever. And an embossing tray. Very, very helpful. A glue gun. And embossing heat gun. This is a stamping up one I've had for years. Works very well. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is load our stamp onto the acrylic block. I store all of my stamps in CD cases. Um, I use the pink, My Pink Stamper method. Um, I have a video, I will link that in the blog. So you just take the, the stamp and stick it on the acrylic block like that. Okay. Then I have some of the first ribbon rolled out, this black ribbon. And I'm going to use my okay. pigment ink. You're going to dab the ink on the stamp and press it firmly down. And we're going to do that. I do this usually three or four times before I go to the powder. And I do re-ink it every time. I want a good coat of the ink. So then we're going to put this on our tray, like so. Take the embossing powder, generously apply it over the ink pour off the excess and a good flick on the back side will take off the remaining powder so there you have that now the last step is to turn on your heat gun and heat up the powder And you'll start, it takes it a minute, or not a minute, a few seconds, and it starts to bubble up and turn a little bit darker. That's when you know it's embossing and raising that powder up with the heat. And there you have it. And so the point to um, setting it with the heat gun is um, it sets the powder so it won't bleed anymore so that's all there is to it and I did it for 10 yards of ribbon yes it was tedious but I was really happy with it and then all I would do after that is take I'm not gonna unwrap this but take well I guess I will take the white ribbon and all I did was unroll the white ribbon and then I hot glued the finished embossed black ribbon all the way down. It's a tease project but it's not hard at all and you get some custom ribbon that you can't find in the store. This is the different examples. This is when you stamp your ink on the ribbon 
and when it dries see how much it fades this is when you apply the powder but you don't set it with the heat gun and then this one is the final product when you stamp emboss powder and then heat gun so there are the differences first step second step third step so I hope that gives you some ideas about creating your own custom ribbon I can say it's a bit tedious but it wouldn't be tedious if you used a little piece of ribbon for a card um, and you know embossed a saying like happy birthday or um, best wishes whatever so in small amounts it's totally not bad and it's really not bad for the 10 yards that I did it just took a while so I hope that inspires you to get uh, get crafting with some specialty ribbon of your own thanks a lot